Uh, obviously, first live contact today, uh, first time in the stadium this spring. So, you know, those two things add a little bit more uh, to practice. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, pretty enthusiastic, pretty enthusiastic out here. Um, I think the guys have had a positive start to the spring. Uh, there's been some things we've done well. There's been some things that we need to improve on. But uh, you know, that's, that's what spring practice is for. First day in pads in the stadium was there? How much sloppiness was there versus like good quality hitting? Yeah, a little both. Yeah. Um, inside run was really really good. I mean, it was it was intense and it was uh, it was very physical. Um, and I told that's what I was talking to him about at the end. You know, that drill is designed for there to be a free hitter on defense. You know, wh whoever it is is dictated by the play. Um, you know, because you, know, you, you can say that guy would have made the tackle. You can say that guy would have broken the tackle. But you don't know until you put him in that situation. And so uh, that was a, a drill where it's highly competitive on the fronts. And then there is a free hitter versus a running back uh, to finish the play. And so you find out a lot about our running backs. You find out a lot about, uh, you know, our safeties and our linebackers. Can you touch on the running back that came over from Georgia Southern? Yeah, Gerald. Yeah. Uh, I thought he has had a very positive first week. Um, you know, he's... He's kind of a little bit of a proven guy for, for you know, his career. He's new here, but he's done some positive things down there. Uh, and I think he's came in, not said a whole lot, put his head down, worked really, really hard, positive attitude. I thought he did some really good things today. How was, uh, how was the quarterback play from what you saw? Well, you saw the play there at the end of the, the, end of the uh, team period right there. So, obviously, Mason is a, a very gifted athlete. I uh, thought he had some incredible throws today. I thought he uh, you know, had a couple of good runs. Uh, I think he has uh, start, had a very positive start to spring practice. Um, I think Alex has had a very positive week this week also. Uh, Raheem, Raheem's going to be a really good player one day. Uh, he has great composure in the huddle. Uh, he doesn't get rattled out there, but he's a high school senior in a, in a college football practice, and, uh, and he's looked like that. So, but uh, certainly excited he's here, and uh, that's a kid that's going to get better every single day. Protect defense out there. The secondary really looks long. Yeah. Had a lot of speed. How's that play on the field? Well, you know, first, you look at our box, and we're returning a ton of experience uh, up front. Uh, and, you know, we're I think we're going to be pretty solid uh, in the box. Um, we did not uh, play the pass very well last year. Uh, we spent a lot of time in the offseason looking at why. Uh, some was uh, maybe some things that we were doing defensively. Um, you know, some was personnel. And so we have gotten a lot longer. Uh, I think that has, uh, you know, been a, been a very positive uh, already so far this spring. Uh, you know, the passing lanes, uh, you know, were a lot more congested. Uh, we have a lot of length at corner. And uh, that's caused some problems uh, already for, you know, for our offense, you know, that they didn't have to, to you know, encounter last spring. So um, I think that's something that's going to help us overall. Did any position groups or individuals stand out as far as physicality today, you know, bringing it first day in pads? Well, I think our defensive front is the one that stands out, and they should. You know, those kids, they all started as freshmen in 2020. Uh, and we brought in JD to add to that group last year, but I mean those those kids have been here playing for three years, and uh, you know they're a veteran group and they're a tough, freaking hard nosed group. So uh, you know that's that's the bunch that's going to stand out here early in practice. Can you touch too on just obviously losing Latrell and Chris at the start of spring practice and kind of how you're you're handling that? I'm sure it wasn't ideal. No, timing. it's not ideal timing. Right. Uh, you know, it's it's part of it. You know, it's uh, you know we've had some success. We did some you know, great things offensively last year in both the run game and the pass game. Um, the NFL's hiring cycle has uh, you know, taken a lot of college coaches this year, and the trickle-down effect has, uh, has caused you know, the Power Fives to come in and, and grab two of our coaches. Um, you know, certainly wish them the best. Uh, my focus and concern is our players. Uh, you know, the positive thing is with the success of the program, we're attracting – uh, very high-end candidates uh, for those jobs. So we're in the process of going through uh, preliminary uh, interviews right now, and uh, we'll have some more uh, serious interviews in the coming week. Uh, we do plan to hi hire an outside receivers coach uh, probably fairly quickly. So uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's not ideal, but it's uh, you know something that we look forward to being a positive force because of who we're going to bring in.